Hey everybody, Drone Tech here. Hey, uh, I did one of those driving videos today where you drive around and talk. Uh, it's kind of, you know, everybody does one of those. I've never done one. Uh, but got into editing it here and realized I didn't talk at all about the super panel tonight. Just like we are now doing every Monday, uh, American Joe has organized a super panel of great uh, YouTubers. Uh, we all get together and we just talk politics uh, every week. A different person hosts it. We got a great lineup tonight, as always. We got Douglas Dakota, who is hosting. Uh, we got American Joe. We got me. We got uh, the Patriot Hour with Mike, SJG, and Normal American with Robert Noir. Like I said, I will put all the links in the description and pinned comments, so head on over there tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern and check us out. I'll just seamlessly fade on over into my car video that's just got some updates on the channel and information about my Patreon and Subscribe Star subscribers. Thanks. Hey everybody, Drone Tech here. Uh, I've never done one of these videos, one of these driving videos, but I've wanted to kind of branch out and start doing some different kind of videos, throwing in into the mix there just to change it up, make it a little bit more fun. And uh, I want to start focusing a lot more on my patrons and my subscribe star subscribers. Uh, you guys are great, and frankly, I don't do enough for you. I want to do more. Uh, it's really just a time issue, but like I said, I'm trying to find ways of doing videos a little bit quicker uh, than I usually do them. It usually takes me four or five hours to put together a five-minute video, and that's just because I do a lot of jump cuts and I do a lot of uh, you know, research to find older videos to tie it into whatever topic I'm talking about. And, and that takes time. Um, and I usually do that stuff while I'm editing. I'll, I'll usually put together a rough script and uh, just sort of go off that and, and just put it together all as one thing. Lastly, uh, many of you know, I kind of took a little week-long break last week. I was getting kind of burnt out. I don't know if it was the weather <laughs> or the, just the new cycle. I was just, I just need to step away for a week. And I, I kind of disconnected, not completely, it's hard for anybody that is into this, is uh, obsessed with the media and then politics, to completely disconnect. Feeling a lot better, feeling refreshed. I uh, already got videos lined up. I worked all weekend getting videos uh, lined up, so I will hopefully not miss a day this week. So make sure to check out today's video at around 5 p.m. Eastern, and uh, hopefully from there on out, they will be every day. Uh, the video that I'm working on for uh, Tuesday, for tomorrow, uh, will be about the media's meltdown now over their latest loss. You know, they've been trying to, to take out Trump since the beginning, since before the election, and they lose every time. And uh, this latest uh, victory where he's going to be acquitted, it's looking like he's going to be acquitted. Uh, they're, they voted down, you know, any new witnesses. Um, and I just want to say that the narrative coming out now that you hear from the media is you're going to hear a lot of, oh, he, uh, democracy has been, is done. Um, our institutions are destroyed. Trump and Republicans only care about destroying our institutions so that they can keep power. Uh, this is all absolute crap. All these people that are saying this in the media, I mean, you got Bill Maher, Joy Reid, uh, Nicole Wallace, all these types and these never-Trumper fanatics in the media... They're all saying the same thing, that somehow this is the end of democracy. Well, let me tell you something. They were saying that before the election, and I've talked about this quite a bit, but just a reminder, uh, back in 2016, they were already saying these things. When, when Trump was asked if he would accept election results, he said, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. And they said, oh, this is an attack on the institution. People can't trust. The president is telling people they can't trust the election system. Well, a little reminder here. Who has been questioning election results since day one? Who questioned election results for the last Republican president, George W. Bush? Same people. Same people said he wasn't legitimate. It seems every time Democrats don't win, it's an attack on democracy. It's an illegitimate president. So... Just uh, a little uh, foreshadowing about uh, tomorrow's video. It is going to be on that topic. And I, I just want to head this off. I know all of you probably know. But uh, I just want to remind people of the past words and actions of the media and the Democrats and the people who are saying now that Trump and Republicans are attacking democracy. These people are hypocrites. They're liars. And they, they never apply their own standards to themselves. And we're seeing that once again.